Hey squids, I'm inside the garage because it's raining out. So I just got something that I want to install on my hog here. And that is a heated grips. And let me show you. This, I think I bought it for $10 on Amazon and really cheap stuff. But I am curious to see if I can install this on the Hellhound here. And this has got a minimum position and a maximum. And I, I wanted to buy the entire grips. These are a much better idea than the elements that you put under your existing grips. So let's get started. So I haven't done one of these in a very long time. Heated grips are something that I always want on motorcycles. They are some of the handiest things, better than heated gloves because sometimes you're riding in the spring and in the morning it's freezing and then by evening they it's already warmed up so you don't need it. So this is a much better way of going about it. So I'm putting heated grips on all my bikes if I can. It's uh, one of the best mods along with lithium batteries. Um, I was expecting a little bit more to come with it, but for the amount of money I paid, it used to be the really good heated grips by Oxford, they're a hundred something dollars, and the quality shows. So with these, this is like just a Chinese um, heated grips company, like hot grips. Uh, they're pretty much interchangeable. I don't know anything about reliability when it comes to this, and that's something I do value. This one is the throttle because it's got this position here and this is a piece that comes with it. I believe you just kind of pull it out. Um, yeah, this little piece of plastic just kind of comes out and then it does have these really ultra cheap bar end caps, but I'll probably be putting my regular bar ends because they're in pretty good shape and on off and as per usual you can tie this directly to your battery and it will just power up the battery but if you have installed heater grips they will zap your battery very quickly if you leave it on so it's best to tie it into the existing uh, wiring for the bike and that's what I intend on doing first thing I'm going to do to install the heater grips I'm going to remove the windscreen windscreen is out now we have to remove this front plastic this is what was broken before two bolts here and then this just kind of pops out on each side if you look at the back there's these little rivets and of course they just clip right there into that hole and that's what holds it next step is to remove these two side brackets and there's two bolts on each side we're going to remove those brackets are off the bike right there Next thing up is this plastic. Okay, got this part out, and now this one should be a lot easier to get out, but pretty simple bit of plastic, put it aside. That's the beauty of the PCX, it's so simple. You do that, remove that, you have access to all the relays, all the wiring, uh, everything is easy to reach. I popped out the seat, it's right there. It's just these two 10 millimeters, and then I popped this out. It's just one Phillips or one bolt here and this just kind of pops out you see like there's these little tabs there okay guys I finally got these bar end weights off this one in particular was very tight I had to use some heat you see the heat gun there and I even tried a flame that didn't work and then an impact wrench got it out but it took a while the grip is out so this on the left side that's where the on and off switch is so we're just going to slide it in i thought at first that it was too big but if you look here there's a hex and that's how you can get it to be nice and tight so i want to put it like like that oh we're going to get this one out i got the bar end off you do have to remove this there's two bolts here so right here there is a bolt right in there it's a phillips and another Phillips here. So we're gonna get those now. I had to loosen up this bracket. By the way, for some reason, this mirror has been relocated to the front. I'm not sure, I might put it back here. Uh, he might have broken the mirror that came with it on his crash. So here is the contraption you need to do. You just need to pull that out. This is the cable for the throttle. So we're just going to remove the return and the the twist 
cable so that's why I had to separate this that's why I had to loosen that so this little contraption this is also what comes with the kit and then I guess you just slide it on here and there is only one cable I thought for some reason it would have a return and a release type but now I'm just going to slide this in I got the heater grips on there this part is facing this way twists make sure it's not binding one of the things I did first I must have not put the cable exactly right and when I tightened it it started opening up here if it does that just remove it and fit it properly it is just tying it all together and finding a way to tie it to the ignition I have too many wires already here which I don't like when's the cradle for the phone which is working absolutely fine you'll see the link in the description and now I just need to get these hit grips going because man this this is going to be one of those things that's going to make delivering in the winter in the DC area so much nicer so you can tie this directly to the battery if you want but I don't suggest that because most likely you are going to be killing your battery when you're running into stores depending on the amount because heater grips do take quite a bit of energy and I also it's a it's a much better idea because I have killed uh, batteries going to work leaving it and then coming back I was like oh my heater grips I left it on you always will forget it if you tie it into the battery itself this T-Max has got the heater grips here I have killed the battery on it luckily I managed to charge the battery but it's just one of these things that people will forget on it's not a light it's not something that you can really see I put the negative onto here I like these uh, little speed connectors um, and then this is just the top light and positive and the negative so that's the positive right there put the negative there and in order for this to work you have to turn on the ignition the on is there you should be able to see a little LED once the bike comes on there we go that means that it's hot I haven't really tested the middle is off that is minimum that's maximum I'll probably keep it at the maximum that's how you put heated grips on a motorcycle it works for just about every bike the next thing really we're going to do is in the next video I'm going to do an Uber Eats ride and I'm going to test it out so hopefully that's going to keep my hands nice and warm and if you recall I'm using very light gloves for delivery because I have to go inside of stores pick up the food and be able to touch the phone with a touch screen in order to accept deliveries. And that's the reason the heater grips are going to be very useful for around this area. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe if you need to get the heater grips. Click on the link below and get them from there. I'll get a couple of cents, hopefully. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.